Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about another graph directory structure that is the acyclic graph directory structure. What are the ways to implement this one and what are the needs to implement an acyclic graph directory? How can the sharing of directory handled in most of the operating systems and what are the ways of implementing that sharing of directories and what are the disadvantages and advantages of this acyclic graph directory structure. Consider if we are talking about two programmers that want to work on a project. So whenever they want to work on a project simultaneously or jointly, then they will definitely have some files or data that should be shared among these two project users. Now this file should be kept in another subdirectory separated from the other directory structure as well as the file of the two programmers. So the file of the two programmers can contain different files that the programmers are directly handling alone or within that project. So the project files now are kept in a subdirectory. But as the programmers are jointly using this type subdirectory, so they want to be the subdirectory in their own directory format. So the files of the subdirectory that need to be shared among the users or the programmers are known as shared or subdirectory holders. So the subdirectories can be shared among these programmers and this can be represented in an tree-like structures will be problematic. We are using the acyclic graph directory structure that is a graph without any cycles to that is a graph without any cycles to implement this type of sharing directories. So now we can jointly tell us that which of the programmers are using the subdirectories and using this acyclic graph directory structure. So it is definitely a common generalization of a tree-like structure which is not compatible to define the sharing of directories. So now we will see that how the sharing of directories is done inside the acyclic graph directory structure. As we have mentioned that it is a generalization of a tree-like structure, so it is having a root like this tree structure. Now we say that the sharing of file is implemented in this acyclic graph structure. So we should say some properties to be mentioned in this tree to make it a acyclic graph. Here first we can see that the count subdirectory of this directory dict and spell both are using the same file and but they are using the same subdirectory in the their directory structure of the root directory and the list directory of both this directory structure are using different files. Now we will see some scenario where these directory structures will use this list directory as their subdirectory or a shared directory. So for now we are using this file as a shared directory of this two count subdirectory structure.
here we can see that the subdirectory w and as well as the subdirectory words is shared this list subdirectory so now along with this file we are sharing the subdirectory list with this w and words subdirectories and all is using this file which is shared by the list so a subdirectory of a directory that is list of the particular words or say w are using the file that is also shared by a subdirectory all so it is not only that we can share only a file the subdirectories and inside the subdirectory a file is can also be shared so this is a general acyclic graph structure so now we should see that importance of copying the data into different directories is different from sharing the directory. Now if we want to copy the data of our information into two different directories say all and words. So now any changes that made to all will be visible only to all and any changes that made to words will be visible only to words. So they are using their own copy of the data and modifying them according to their need. But as we can say for the first example that we have mentioned, two programmers are jointly using a single file or modifying a single file. Now we are carrying that the sharing of file that is creating only the original copy of the file. So here both the count of this dict and spill are using a common file this is spelled here so this common file when modified by this dict will be immediately visible by the spill so if one directory or file is updating the particular section then another directory also will be visible that change to notify that the programmers are working jointly on that project so if someone is modifying it then definitely it should be informed to the other. Now the programmers that are working as a team in a particular project then they should need to contain the subdirectories inside their own directories. So the subdirectory or files can be put in the EFT of the each directory and then this EFT can be put to the EMFD or a master file directory and UFT is the user file directory of that particular programmer. So now if we are talking about a single user's programming language also, then also we need to place sometimes a file into different directories. Say for example, using a single user's system, if a user is having a file that is implemented in different projects, so the file particularly needed to be in the MFT of that particular file system and according to that also the other file or programmers that is using that particular data. For example, say this file is having implemented in the list structure as well as the all structure as well as the word structures via the list structure. So this file is shared among a single user of that particular programmers. Now we can implement this sharing of files inside a cyclic graph structure by many means. Windows operating system and Microsoft Windows operating system and Unix operating system uses a particular structure known as links. Links are specifically a pointer to another file where we can mention that this file is referencing to another file. So here we are maintaining only this pointer like links or the symbolic links. So whenever these links are referenced, then it should be handled very carefully. As now, many multiple absolute path name is possible and consequently distinct files can refer to the same files. Again, if we look at this acyclic graph, we can see that the W is using this file, words is using this file and all is also using this file. So the three of it is using this file and so absolute path name of this three to this file will be different different and distinct files like all w and words are using the same file name. So we need to specifically contain the link information or the absolute path name information inside the information of a link. 
So whenever a reference is made, then the operating system checks that the reference is a link or a normal file reference. If it is a link, then it looks at the link information that a particular link is referencing to which file. And after resolving this link, it can directly apply to the file to be modified or get accessed. Now these links are inevitably indirect pointer, not a copy of that particular file. Now another approach that is used by another operating systems are copying the original file into different different directory entry of that particular file systems. So that when we are using a particular file as a shared file or subdirectory, then every time the directory entry is made or a directory that is using a file, the entire copy of the file should be placed in the directory entry of that particular programmer or file name. So the copy should be modified by itself only. So data consistency should be handled very carefully when you are using this type of copying of file as a sharding method. So now if we see the difference between these links and the copying of the file, we can see that the original and the copy of the file is indistinguishable when we are using the second approach. Now when we are talking about links, the operating system does not traverse the link while accessing the directories to maintain the acyclic nature of the particular graph. If it also covers the directories as a link, then the graph should contain a cycle, which is not required. Now a cyclic graph is more flexible than a simple tree, but it is more complex too. Like when we are traversing from one directory to another, as we have already told, that there are many absolute path names and many references that can be possible. So solving these references can be a large task to the computer system. As we do not want to traverse the shared file links or the shared file structures more than once, while we are referencing the file, copying the file to another disk storage, or accessing the file or accumulating file status information. So extra care should be there that the shared file should be referenced or a traverse only once. So to prohibit the nature of this cyclic graph of a particular tree structure, then we should maintain this type of discrepancies or restrictions to a graph nature. Another problem with the acyclic graph or the sharing of the file based deletion. What happens when or when the space allocated to a shared file can be removed and allocated to some other users? One approach is can we can remove the file structure or directory entity whenever a file that is used by a programmer is deleted. But two problems are happening there. That if we are using a link like structure then a dangling pointer may be used because the link is now referencing to nowhere. And at a worst case, if the space is removed and by allocated some other users, then an absolute location holder of a program, which is also used as a link to that pointer to that particular file, then should be used in the midst of another file's pointer or location. So we can address to this problem by solution using a symbolic links. So if you are using the symbolic links rather than using a copying of the original data, then we can directly delete the symbolic links whenever they are not referencing to anyone. Then the symbolic links will not affect the entire file systems. But if it is deleting a link that is now referencing to somewhere and which is not deleted, then it will be problematic. As well as if the file is also deleted and the link is till there, then it is now referencing to nowhere. So these two problems to be solved by the symbolic link software. Now when we are using the symbolic links, we should know that whenever the symbolic links is referencing to the location that does not actually exist, then the location can be reallocated to another processes or users. But before that, symbolic links should be searched, which are now not referencing to a non-existent location. And then it should be deleted. 
Now, other than using a separate list of the associative links with each of the files, it should be a huge task to keep deletion of that links which is not mentioned anywhere. So we should always keep a list of the associative links with each file type to different that which links are now deleted and which links are now referencing to nowhere. So in this way, after we have deleted the actual file or the shared file, we can now delete the links to that particular file using the list references of particular file. In another way, we can determine that the lists are now not using any references, that is by using a keeping reference list as we have already told, or we can leave up to the programmer that to handle the links. Now whether the link is now referencing to anywhere or not is up to handling by the programmer. So one way is the programmer is handling the links whenever a reference is made to them. So if a reference is made to them and the link is not finding anywhere the location or the disk location that is containing the actual shared file, then it will be considered just normally as an illegal access to the operating system. It will trap back and then it will delete the particular link referencing to the non-existent location. This approach is handled by Unix, Windows and most other operating systems. And the links are now can be deleted so that we can delete the actual space and reallocate the space by the other files or the users. Another approach other than using the symbolic links is to delete the file after all the references that have been made to it is deleted. So now we need to implement it by a mechanism to keep track of all the references that is made to a shared file. So we can keep a reference list or a keeping reference list to maintain the references that is made to a file. So whenever a file is referenced or a shared file is referenced particularly, then a directory entry to the reference list is made. And whenever a reference is deleted that the file system is not using that particular shared file, then an entry from the reference list is deleted. So by adding it and deleting it, we can simply say that what is the reference list of that particular file. So if the reference list is containing no references, then the file can be deleted safely as no references are made linking or listing to it. But a general problem using this approach is the large size and the variable nature of this reference list. However, we are not keeping all the information in the list reference, we are only keeping a list count on that particular references. Whenever a reference is made, a count is incremented and whenever a reference is deleted, a count is decremented. And if the count variable reaches zero, then we can specify that the file is now not referenced by any other programmers or files or subdirectories so that we can safely delete the file. This type of links is known as non-symbolic links or hard links which has been specified by this mechanism in windows and windows of Unix operating systems. So thus by prohibiting multiple references to a list, we can maintain the acyclic graph nature of a particular directory structure. Now to avoid this kind of problems that we have discussed, some operating system does not use the shared file system or facilities as well. So this is all about the cyclic graph nature of a shared file directory. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.